All right, hello everyone, here we are. Hole number three, par three. Um, trying to remember which one this is. I think I'm set up the way that I need. Let me take a look. Nope, I'm not. So actually I got this one. So if you didn't see my other guide, you know, do check that one out. Um, hmm. Not many balls for what I would like to do. You know, I'd like to give you guys kind of a different shot, but, you know, this, this account is really, really thin. I'd really like to just use that navigator again. Uh, another thing you can do is you can get away with the Marlin. Um, similarly, you know, I don't mind, I guess, using this spider. But, you know, as, as limited as the balls as this account has, it's kind of, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather not waste these, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, let me make sure that I at least put the right club on. So um, whichever between rock and quarterback you have more ball guide on, that's the one that I recommend you using. Um, of course, you already saw me get this one. We use the min number. So do just kind of set your bag up, min number. Um, I didn't. I I don't really use any elevation, and if you want to know why, you can check out the master guide. I kind of thoroughly discussed this with the master. So my very first master guide, um, I kind of talked about this, and uh, what happens is you shoot over this water, right? But then the greens elevated. However, when you compare the start distance to where you're landing, it's rel relatively level. So, you know. There's a lot of discussion like people people want to say, oh, well, this holds downhill. Well, no, I mean, maybe it's uphill because the green's elevated. So but what you see is your landing zone is very in line with where you are. So I don't use elevation for this hole. So and, you know, that's pretty typical for me as well. So here you can see a turkey ball, you know, uh, does give you a good chance. Um, having a little bit less power is just a little bit easier. So here we'll see 7.0. Uh, the min value is right now is at 5.7, 5.8, somewhere in there. And we are probably going to be touching the min value at some point. Um, you could see from my last shot, you know, right around the two number was pretty good. And we're going to try to give it a little bit of this offset here and 5.8 ish rings right in here perfect ball <clears throat> so let's see how this looks it looks like i might come up just a wee bit short so do make sure that you're at least putting that ball guide a little bit up the hill um, because you could see you know i did get this with a navigator um, and it looks like you know, with just a little bit more wind effect, um, I didn't I didn't give it enough, uh, you know, power up that hill. So, you know, play around with your land zone. Uh, pay attention to my other guide because, you know, w w that height on the hill that I use and where that second hop looks, you'll probably want to line it up with your second hop. So whatever my second hop looks like, try to always mimic that. Um, with your shots. It's going to help you with distance control and be able to make sure that you're kind of, uh, you know, not having something like that happen where I came up short. If you pay attention to that second hop um, and set it at a very similar height to what I did in my other shots, it will probably give you very consistent results. And, um, you know, just keep that in mind and, you know, always be watching my shots before you go to shoot yours, just so you can kind of get that memory ingrained. So it's good practice to go watch my video and then shoot directly after and just try to match up every single thing that I do and then go through your checklist and do it. So good luck there and I'll see you guys for whole three, come, uh, whole four coming up. 